Hello everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Land. We have here a full trailer of milk, and uh, we're going to get that sold straight away. Because we need to pay the loan today, and I don't have any money at the moment. So, we'll just watch that rocket up. Brilliant. So now, first we can go straight into here. And we can repay the loan. So, that's another 5,000. That'll keep the bank happy. We're just waiting for this rain to actually stop. Because, as you will have noticed, the wheat has started growing, the grass has started growing, but currently it's got weeds in there. And I like weeds. And it will sound strange, but the reason that I like weeds is because it gives me the chance to actually use this. So I'm going to put the time back down. I don't want this crop growing any further. So, we'll get hooks up. He's, uh, yeah, he's decided to sort of bounce himself down to the ground. Very good. Cool. So, we've got our narrow tyres on. We know we're not going to cause any damage at all. So, we can get straight on with weeding this. And this is the first time we're going to be weeding a field. But it's good because, obviously, we're going to be increasing the yield. So far, we've had uh, weeds in every single field that we've actually harvested. So this is good for us. Um, however, with the size of this weeder, it is going to take a little while. I think the best thing to do is for me to put this onto a time lapse. So that is what I will do. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we were carried do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What if I'm no good for you? What if you're no good for me? Yeah. What if I'm no good for you? 
Alright, that is us done. It may have taken a little bit of time, but it has worked well. I'm happy. I am very, very happy. Because we now have a field that, well, it might have a few spots, but let's have a look. Oh yeah, a few, a few very small spots, but it's okay, we can live with that. It has been fertilized as well because I actually went with the compost and sprayed this entire field. So that's obviously made things a little bit better as well. And uh, something I forgot to tell you guys about is that, once again, we have bred another cow. So we've now got 18 cows in the pen. Uh, why can I not hitch up to you? Am I being silly? I'm sure it's this side. Maybe it's the other side. It is this side. I'm just being stupid. Okay, so we don't have anywhere to park this, so we're just kind of leaving it lying around the place. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get that field sorted. So it obviously needs seeding. That's a massive job, even with this big seeder. Um, but to start with, we need to put compost on there as well. I did spend all of our cash yesterday buying compost. So we don't actually have much. Um, but we didn't have much money. But we still have 0 0.8, that's it. We're going to need more. But I also would like to use the manure that we've got. So let me just pop out. Right, that's better. So we can spray. The spray spread um, but it's not gonna last us very long but before we buy more compost I want to use the manure that's come from the toilet now, is that working oh hang on this is a stupid place to spray because this area is already done I need to head all the way over here where it will actually make a difference because right now as you can see from the map this area I'm in is double fertilized. It doesn't need anything. So it's just a waste. So we may as well do it here where we're actually going to get a benefit. There we go. But as I said, this compost is not going to last forever. We need to build the compost area so that we can actually start making our own. The straw from the wheat, I'm going to put pretty much all of it into compost, I think. I don't yet know how compost works. I've never tried making it before. I don't know how much we have to put in, um, you know, how much we put in versus how much we get out. I don't know yet how that works. I will be finding out at the same time as you guys see me finding out. <coughs> Which makes almost no sense as a sentence, but there we go. So, the question is, how far are we going to get with this? And the answer is, not very far at all. There we go, we're out. So, we have not managed to cover much of the field. Not good. Uh, I can put the time back up now. We're not doing anything right now that requires us to have a constant low speed, so we're fine there. So what I need to do is position myself right where those seed bags are. That was smart, Jack. Good work. So, I have no clue at all how much we've got in here. Interesting. We are actually paying for this. This is a manure sell point. That's not what it was meant to be. Hmm. Right. So it, it doesn't cost us much, 
but I thought it was meant to be free. It was our own waste we were using. It's, um, it's actually a little disappointing. I didn't know that. Right, now I do not know where the old field, field ends and the new one starts. I've got no clue. So I suppose if I just start by here, that would be good enough. And the problem is, this is gonna, yeah, this goes down a lot quicker. And now we've got some field with manure on, some field without. Ah, that's the border. Okay, that's good. Let's stick here, and we can see that border. That's very handy. Yeah, so compost gets used much more slowly than manure. So we'll just have to continue. That toilet is not what I thought it was going to be. I am disappointed. I really did think that it accumulated on its own due to the fact that we're using it, obviously. Um, but it doesn't. I guess the only question is, is the manure from there cheaper than if I was to buy manure in bags? I don't know the answer. I'll have to have a look. I filled this guy up to just over 50%. So if I have a quick look, what is the capacity of this guy? Uh, 5.3 metric tons or 10,600 so I put in 5,300 let's call it 5,000 litres and a big bag of manure we don't have them do we have any manure in pallets we don't we don't actually have any manure that I could buy okay well, it's definitely cheaper than in that case. £195. That's very cheap. That's a bit of a bargain. Well, we can continue to use it until we've got enough compost. At least I do now know how it works. That, you know, it's... um not free because I was under that illusion before but yeah it's not expensive not really and as we've not got precision farming turned on we actually get a full boost Obviously, with precision farming, manure does not give um, does not. It's not the same as fertilizer. Fertilizer can auto apply to match the nitrogen levels required, whereas manure just has a fixed amount of nitrogen. So it is it is better to have manure without having precision farming turned on, actually. <coughs> I've got a bit of a frog in my throat because I've been binge recording and this morning I had to wake up at, what time is it, 3.15. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit tired and my voice is, I think my voice is showing it as well. Oh look, it puts it over the top of, its, of the compost. Interesting. I didn't know it would do that. Well, we've not got much left to do. Which is good, because we've not got much left in the tank. So just a couple of headlands, really. Because I think everything on that side of the manure 
is done. Yeah, it's just this bit here. And obviously I had to land across each end. So we're going to actually have everything done today early. And this episode is going to be going out on Christmas Eve. I apologise for the fact that it's not Christmassy. I did have something in mind to make it Christmassy, but then I sort of changed my mind a little because I decided doing something Christmassy doesn't fit with the series. I'd have to do a completely separate episode and then I'd have to try and sort of dream up some brand new scenario that we could use. And to be perfectly honest, I, I don't have the time. I would love to have the time to be able to do that, but I've been working constantly and yeah, it's just not something I can do. Right, so there is a bit of field here that needs to be extended as well. It needs to be done. But we're pretty much out of manure. Yeah, we are. Let's go and refill. Right, we're filled up again. So, I've put in 40% this time. I didn't want to overfill and end up with far too much left. I think a bit left over doesn't matter, but I don't want too much left. So, we'll get this area completely done. And then there's obviously just the little bit at the bottom to be done. However, because we've put manure down, I don't want to use the direct drill. I want to instead cultivate first. Or at least cultivate the areas where manure has been put in. The areas with compost I'm not worried about, and the areas that are already fine I'm also not worried about. That is, that is good enough. I'm not going to split hairs about a very small amount that's left over. So we'll just do the headland down the bottom. And then we're going to have some manure left over for another time, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. So now this makes me excited about having manure again. I'm usually very lazy. And I prefer slurry because I can just hit the R button and refill it. But here, this this makes it easier. Uh, okay, so that is done. Awesome. Right, let's drop this off. And then we're going to have to get cracking on cultivating. And uh, that field is going to be canola. That's what I decided. And now I'm having deja vu. In fact, I'm having deja vu of having deja vu. I'm sure that I've had this conversation before. I don't watch my own videos back. Obviously, I check them, but I don't watch them back. So I'm not going to go and hunt around to see if I have said this before. But I'm certain I have. I'm going crazy. This is what happens when you just make too many videos, I think. This must be how the more professional YouTubers feel all the time. There we go. So I'm not going to time lapse this. Instead, I'm going to jump cut to when the field is done. That is all of the manure cultivated in then, apart from this tiny, tiny bit here. Uh, the composted area I've just left, because that doesn't matter. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, the manure, I wanted it to be worked in, and that is why the manure is also... Uh, sorry, this field is also not going to be seeded tonight. It will instead be seeded tomorrow. 
which will be the next episode. Now, I've not been very good at getting the lengths of my episodes correct, or at least, you know, my guess as to how long they take. Um, I think this episode might actually be slightly short. Um, I'm not sure. So let's just have a quick look. Is there anything we can do? Everything here has been fertilised. Uh, the cows, I'm not giving them anything because I don't want them to have anything just yet. Because I want to move them to the other pen, obviously. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's anything we can do, really. The only thing I can think of is cutting some grass, but... I don't know. Look at the size of that field. That is absolutely enormous. I've made that quite big. I've got grass here in the pen that's ready to be cut. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We've got this whole area here we could cut, and this area around here, and this area up here. But I'm not sure that I want to cut it. Hmm. I think we're just going to finish here. It is Christmas Eve. You guys can go and enjoy yourselves. So, I really hope you have a wonderful Christmas, and uh, tune in on Sunday, there will be an FS22 video. For now, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.